It's rush hour in Wisconsin. But in this secluded valley, all you can hear are birds singing. And this babbling brook. You won't find any paved roads here, but there is no escape from government waste. This is Senator Mark Lyons district, and he says this bridge is yet another example of questionable decision making at the DOT. By the way, this is what a $360,000 bridge looks like. And even though this bridge might look simple, over a third of its total cost went towards designing it and supervising its construction. Senator Mark Line says over-engineering like this is not at all uncommon in the DOT. When Senator Mark Line pointed this out, it, it, I, I, by the way, I've used this at the agency. It's been, it's been a great tutorial. Uh, he's hitting the, the, the nail right on the head. He, he's, he's hit it square. We need to drive down all the million here, million there, 10 million here, 5 million there, and drive it back into pavement and concrete. That, that, that's what we need to do. We need to, to do more but with the resources to spend them appropriately and having a 37% overhead cost to put a project in the ground is unacceptable. Secretary Ross believes it's time things change at the DOT and how it goes about spending taxpayer money. Ross knows change doesn't always come easy, especially in bureaucracies. And this valley might not be the only place in the state where time is inclined to stand still. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.